Buying some cake ingredients would be a doddle for most teenagers. But 15-year-old Zach's just learning to shop alone. Hi, darling. Hey, I just want to make sure I have the right things. Granulated sugar and self-raising flour. No, you need plain flour. Are you sure you didn't buy any chocolate bags? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> He's trying his hand at baking for the first time, too. George, I mean, Richard. <laughs> Did I hear my name? And then what? <laughs> George. Do the work. Okay. And then you get a yes. reward. But have I got the payment we agreed earlier? Did you yes. manage to get it? Yes. Thank you very much. A decade ago, Zach was an everyday sporty kid. Then he banged his head at school, permanently damaging his brain. I had a highly intelligent child with a photographic memory who was a natural sportsman, very happy all the time, um, to a child that was angry to a child that was physical, to a child that screamed, to a child that had to learn how to use his limbs again. Oh, Whoa, that, that was a good catch. No, Zach used to beat me up daily. Finished, yeah. You know, he used to say it was my fault what had happened, even though he didn't mean it, he wanted to die. Zach wouldn't have shopped alone six months ago. Then he started coming here. Too easy? This is the Cambridge Centre for Paediatric Neuropsychological Rehabilitation. A complex name for a bright idea. It's Britain's only NHS one-stop shop to rehabilitate children with brain injuries back into family and school life. Combining experts on emotions, language, medication, body movement and education. When a young person has had an injury like Zach's, they need all the expertise. And what's great for the families is they get to come to the service and they see everybody who they might need to see in one place, rather than having to go to multiple different services, which can take years sometimes. Brain injuries happen through accidents, assaults, infections, tumours and strokes. So imagine that's the top of the head. Without help, people can become isolated and struggle to control their impulses. Incredibly, around 60% of young adult prison inmates report having had a brain injury. The effects? can lay hidden for a long time. Five, ten years down the line, we might see an adolescent um, who uh, uses inappropriate language, um, whose behaviour is, is not right for the situation, who misjudges social cues, and that might be put down to that person's sort of bad behaviour, if you like, but really it's consequence of the injury that they had back when they were five. Let's get the cake out of the oven. The child will never be their old self again, but with this combined help, they can learn to cope with simple, everyday life. I've done a lot on my own, yes, and got quite far, but I've always felt very isolated. Now I don't feel alone. Oh, it's good, Richard Westcott, BBC News, <laughs> Cambridge. I can't, I can't, my man. <laughs>